Like so many other children growing up in the late 70s and throughout the 80s, I was obsessed with one of the greatest film sagas ever told, Star Wars. The success of the film saw the success of the merchandise, and more pointedly the toys. All the collectible characters and ships saw children play and create their own Star Wars stories. Through the years the toys would see changes and development and with the continuation of the film franchise sees all new characters, ships and choices. Lucky for me, growing up at the time saw the greatest toy shop ever, Precious, or as I would pronounce it, Preciouses. It was here at number 87 Petergate, now a pizza and grill restaurant where I and my brother would buy our Star Wars toys. And what was also rewarding was it was the place where our Nan worked. It was brilliant that Nan worked in the shop, as she would put away the toys that we wanted as we were saving our pocket money. For me, my understanding of cost for an item was lacking, as I was always under the impression that everything cost 50p. Want a Darth Vader? 50p. Want a droid? 50p! Want an X-Wing? 50p! Of course, that really wasn't the case, as Mumu and Dad and Nan were obviously paying the difference. One of the strongest memories I have is of me and my brother when we met Darth Vader on his visit to the toy shop. As you do when you're part of the Galactic Empire and wanting a cuddly Wookiee for those lonely nights. I think we both got a little extra special treatment before anybody else due to Nan. Now it wasn't David Prowse that was dressed up, but what did that matter to a young boy? It was Darth Vader. By God, we'd better be on our best behaviour, otherwise we might find ourselves in a false throat choke. I recall that was in my dad's arm when Darth Vader came over to us. Oh, and who is your favourite? He asked me. Uh, you are, I said. He then turned to my brother. And yours? He asked. Um, Luke, he said. Oh no, Vader's gonna go all throat choking. With that, he grabbed my brother by the jacket and pulled him close. Who? He asked. Um, um, you, he said. And with that, he let him go as he was pleased. He signed us both an autograph on a piece of paper with his image on it and then he went on his way to strike terror and fear into others. We both still have the original toys and some of the new ones with today's new instalments and the majority of them came from the greatest toy shop ever. Precious is.